Tonight on the season three premiere of Fan Nation. A lot of these things I can trace back to games that I've been to that bring back good memories for me and for my family. Meet Scott, a 412 fanatic, and find out what it takes to be the MVP of Steelers Nation Unite. Next. We had bikers, we had teachers, we had a police officer, and then we had just a whole bunch of crazy people. The Pittsburgh tough guys who created modern day MMA. The fourth best Madden player in the world, and Pittsburgh's got him. He ran oh, in. Is that in a run commit? Was that an accidental run commit? A mistake defensively, and Chompies takes advantage. His video has been viewed two million times. I didn't expect that when I hit the tweet button. Is he a hater or the Pirates' most passionate fan? Plus, are you ready for the perfect Steelers tailgate playlist? Pittsburgh's premier DJ has one for you. So are you ready? Oh yeah, this is Fan Nation and, and here we go. This is Pittsburgh, the greatest sports town around. To prove it, we're hitting the road to meet you. The loudest, the proudest, the without a doubtest, best sports fans in the world. This is Fan Nation. Welcome to the season three premiere of KDK TV's Fan Nation. Presented by JP Roofing. I'm Daisy J. And I'm Rich Walsh. And we have so much exciting stuff for you this year. We'll introduce you to some of the biggest Pittsburgh fans ever. Yeah, like the number one Roberto Clemente fan in the world, bar none. Plus, this is a very big year for anniversaries. Right, the year 1972 was huge for Pittsburgh sports. Clemente's 3,000 hit, the Immaculate Reception, and the passing of Title IX all happened 50 years ago this year. So let's kick things off by meeting a Steelers fanatic who's obsessed with game-worn gear. In my collection, there's thousands of items that are spread across three rooms in my home, and I actually don't even have room to display them all. I just started with a few things and then, you know, I got a little more and a little more and before you know it, it took on a life of its own. I have several pairs of gloves that Deontay Johnson has scored touchdowns in. I have Troy Polamalu's worn gloves. A lot of these players personalize their gloves. So, for example, Ryan Shazier's gloves would have names of his family members inside. It would have Shaliv on the gloves. So the gloves really have a lot of personal value. I started collecting around 2015, and what got me into collecting was being able to own game-worn memorabilia. It's really a piece of history, and I can trace back, you know, some of these items to games that I've been to that bring back great memories for me and my family. Football has always been about family. It's something that, you know, every Sunday, either my dad and I or my mom and I are at a game if it's a home game. If it's not a home game, we're watching it all together on TV. And, you know, even the collection is something that we share together. For me, it's just been a lot of enjoyment over the years, something that's brought my family together. I've made a lot of friends because of my connection with the Pittsburgh Steelers, both forming relationships with some players, coaches, as well as, you know, other fans like me. And those relationships have turned into some great friendships that I'm very thankful for. With an impressive collection worthy of its own small museum, one piece of Steelers memorabilia stands out to Scott as the most special. Yeah, I have one of Cam Hayward's actual game jerseys that he personally signed and dedicated to me. To have something that's both a jersey that was actually made for him to use and then at the same time have that personalized to me. It just adds that connection that is totally unique and specific to me. I may live in Cleveland Browns territory, but I am truly a Pittsburgh Steelers fanatic. You're watching Fan Nation. Here we go.